With the wit sun comes some wit sum. Ale. Kalamazoo. Hey, it's Brain Muffin back with a beer review, and today we have from, is this Arcadia, Arcadia, Arcadia Ales Brewing, uh, Kalamazoo, Michigan. This is Arcadia Brewing Company, handcrafted and bottled by 6% alcohol, 12 fluid ounces of Whitsum Ale, wheat ale brewed with spices, coriander, and orange peel. Now, I don't know if that's the spice, the spices, and coriander, and orange peel, because there's no comma. It is on another line. It just says brew with spices, and it says coriander and orange peel. If, so the, the spices might be coriander and orange peel, or it might be some stuff, and so forth. So my friends have given us 11 check-ins on Untapped with an average rating of 3.46. So, but my friends don't tend to like summer beers. Ooh, can definitely smell the orange. Now, I disturbed the yeast before I started this. And that is a very clear beer. Wow. There's yeast in the bottom. I guess I didn't disturb it well enough. Hmm. There we go. That is... Don't really get much coriander, but I definitely smell the orange peel. You got a... There's a nice wheat backbone, and then the, the orange peel just kind of shows up really deep. Oh, there it is. Very start of that uh, inhale is coriander, and then it's overpowered by other stuff. You can definitely taste the coriander mid mouth, all the way to the finish. You can definitely, I can definitely smell it on my breath. That is a very interesting combination because it's adding a little bit of bitterness. But it's still a refreshing beer. It's not as fizzy as I would have thought. Now this is a little cold still. These summer beers I tend to pour colder than I would a normal ale just because it's got all these delicate flavors. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it needs to be warmer. Um, I think that's pretty good. That's like a three and a half. I mean that's a pretty good summer beer. Got nice golden coloration there. A little bit of a deep gold. We've got a nice plume of carbonation going not a whole lot of head retention for a wheat beer um, which is okay I mean I don't know what they're what they're trying to go for um, but a nice golden ale it's flavorful but it's not overly hoppy it's not it's got a kind of a little bit of sweetness with a little bit of bitterness it's a nice balance you could definitely pair this with any summertime fare I mean you can have a hot dog even with ketchup. Hot dog, brown mustard, relish, onions. Goes well. You can put that mustard, relish, and onions on a, on a, on a grilled cheeseburger, too. Would go very well. So that's nice. That's a nice summer beer. So I'm going to check into Untapped to three and a half on that one. So I'm pretty aligned with my friends um, on Untapped. This is also a beer that a lot of people who, who don't like beers would probably like because there's enough orange and enough coriander. You don't get that beeriness. Uh, the wheat beers tend to have a nicer uh, entry level many times because they they, they're a little sweet, but they're not overly sweet. They're not really hop bombs or anything like that. They usually just have enough hops to kind of preserve them and maybe counteract a little bit of sweetness. When you start adding spices, you know, like coriander, you start adding orange peel, you want those to be the predominant flavors. You don't want to overpower them with citrusy hops or piney hops or anything like that. Or even mango or dankness or any of that stuff. You just kind of want to, you know, you could make this into a sour, though. So now we've got a little bit better head. It looks more like a bright tank. It has the appearance of a bright tank. Now I can really smell the coriander. Mm. Kind of let that give me a little bit of a mustache on my upper lip, so it just kind of, oh yeah, now it's really opening up, really irritating those ingredients out. And I mean, that is very, it's got a nice coriander aroma, coriander about mid-mouth, orange peel at the same time, and at the end, it's kind of the orange peel and coriander dancing around in your breath. So, yep. I still am going to stand with my three and a half uh, rating. Have you had um, the Whitsome Ale from uh, Arcadia Ales? Do you like it? Not like it? Please let me know in the comments below. Established 1996, about the time I started getting into home brewing. Um, 
It doesn't say a whole lot of other information. I don't. There's no date or anything on this. I picked. The, I think I picked this up at Meyer a while back, um, and it was refrigerated. My that's my only complaint is they have a lot of good beers that are always refrigerated. They, like they bought Dragon's Milk and other stuff that I would love to buy a bunch and sell her. But I can't do that if they've already refrigerated and warm it back up and then cool it back down. Many times beers go really bad when you do that. But uh, for a summer beer like this, I mean, some of the stuff you're supposed to just pick it up and have it within a week or so or a few days or that, that afternoon. That's fine. So this wasn't meant to stay in my refrigerator for so long. This is a beer that I got to do a beer review with my daughter. And then she decided she wanted to do beer reviews with me anymore because uh, I'm, you know, I'm dad and I don't know anything. All right. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for clicking like. And thanks for sharing these videos. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Why won't it scan? With some ale, Cadia Brewing. I hope this stuff's good. Six percent alcohol. Cal so this is a wit wheat. So let's let's disturb it a little bit. Coriander and orange peel. Cool. All right. Marker.